At times, I wish I was someone else, just to feel the joy others feel at loving me. I'll never feel the ecstasy others experience when I walk into the room, answer their prayers, or talk to them personally. Ah, the price of greatness is great. To begin with, I am the perfect physical specimen. My noble face, like the great Greek sculptors try to create, all's even me. My blonde hair is a perfect frame for this great face. My body would make size of envy from Hercules. My arms and legs are massive pistons of muscle. My chest is a storehouse of strength. Having so much power at your command naturally makes people admire and respect you. What makes people love me is my astonishing coordination. To see such a magnificent body execute physical maneuvers with such style and class has to drive people in the frenzies of ecstasy. With women, this ecstasy seems to become worshipful adoration. It's really understandable, and I have pity for those millions who can never know the real wonders of love. I think it's my compassion for all these women who have to settle for less than me that makes me so adored by them all. I remember one woman who threatened to kill herself if I didn't marry her immediately. I simply took her hand, told her we were two eagles who met in the air only for a moment, then went on our separate ways. She wiped the last tear from her eye and went on to marry her high school sweetheart. And I, I went on my separate way. To men and boys and what they wish they could be and they respect me for achieving perfection. It's no jealousy involved because you want to be jealous of someone in your own class. Like no one's really jealous of Superman, Achilles, or John Lennon. I'm so wonderful, men don't even pretend to be my equal. Being universally adored is a great responsibility and it's what I've managed to live up to. I'll continue to allow the world to view me for years to come. It's the least I can do. You know, realizing what I've just said, I don't think I've begun to fully explain how truly wonderful I am or the many and varied reasons why everybody loves me. Describing how wonderful I am is like describing colors to a blind man. In summation, in 1974, all the girls in the world will line up at my door, fall at my feet. That's right, they already do. Why all the girls in the world will love me in 1974 by Bobby Shane.